Tonight, I'm going to be talking about line and how variation in line. <laughs> Just cross hatch here can make for more interesting art. So line, basically, the definition is just a connection between two or more points. And in art, my opinion is that if you have more, more variation in line, it just makes for more visually interesting art. So Again, what, what is a line? It's a connection between two or more things. So lines can be, of course, we'll just go over the elementary first. They can be diagonal. They can be zigzag. They can be curved, which is my favorite. Uh, they can be vertical, which you see in a lot of cityscapes, or they can be horizontal, which you see in many landscapes. So what makes, what makes a visually boring, I'm going to not spend a lot of time on this part, but let me show you what I would say you don't want to do when you're making art. Oops, sticky page here. This is my art journal. Okay. Here's what you don't want to do. And I won't spend a lot of time on this part. I'm going to spend more time on the positives of what I think is more visually interesting in art. So say let's start let me try to do a floral so here's the floral that i would say you don't want to do so if i'm doing a floral i'm gonna just see if you can see the bottom here oh hey i see people have joined hello there hello all right so here we go so if I'm doing a floral, what I don't want to do is this. So here are my rudimentary stems of the flowers. Okay, and you can see with my line, it is all the same. Same, 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 same. All the same shape, all the same length. Okay, so here are my flowers. I'm going to paint the flowers, so work with me here so I'm gonna do again I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this so it's my flowers okay what I might do and again, this is not a masterpiece. I'm just showing. Again, what you see here is all the same type of flower. And also, it's kind of in the middle of the page, which compositionally, that's kind of boring, right? So I can make a green. Hold on, let me make some green here for my... That's a minty green, but again... I'm using the same brush. Actually, that's kind of same brush, same brush. These are all looking the same. So if I'm doing a floral, this is what I don't want. Okay, and we'll do some stems. I mean, I, I don't, I don't hate this, but again, I'm trying to show variety in line, so, <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay, so there's my floral composition. And if I really want to make it really bad, I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to do this straight across. Hopefully y'all can see that. The straight across line. Okay. So that's what we don't want in a floral because it's all the same. Our lines are the same. Um, I haven't changed my brushes at all. It's the same brush. And it's just, there you have it. It's a boring floral. It's not the worst floral in the world if I want to toot my horn a little, but it's not, it's just not interesting. So, and here we go. I'm going to be brave and just, I don't care if this gets smushed on the back of the page, because that's how I roll. I'm brave like that. Okay, so, okay, here is a floral that is exciting, okay? All right. So I might start off with, okay, um, I'll probably do, there, here's what you do want in a floral. I really need a big background, okay, I'm just, I'm just rolling with it, okay, this is no rhyme or reason, but I'm not, I'm not being too careful with where I, stuff. These are more organic shapes because that's what I like to do. But I've got what my issue is. I don't do a lot of geometric shapes. So that's where my Achilles heel is. Okay. Let me make some darks here. But you you just don't you don't want the same, so, okay, so if I'm going to follow my rule here, I don't want same, same, so I'm going to go somewhere else and start another flower over here. It's going to go, maybe it's going to go off the page, okay, so we don't, or different directions, no flower really is the same direction. Okay. So, you get where I'm going here. I'm also going to change my brush size. If I really want to be bold, yeah, I'm going to be bold tonight. I'm going to use a really big brush here. Really. Okay, that's a pretty pink, so. I'm going to come to see there is a big brush and I don't really have control over that overlapped the other flower. But I'm not mad at it. I have to find that one. Okay, so right now this is just florals going everywhere. That's one coming up from below. Okay, so Immediately, else I love a big brush. I love it. Love big brushes. Immediately, you can see with this that it's a lot more visually interesting than that first one I did because I'm definitely varying my brushes, first of all. So, a little green here. And this is a different, this is a smaller brush. Let's put a little green in here. So it's, it's not a masterpiece. Again, this is illustration. But you see here, these are just differences in, um, and, and here we go. Let's do, we can do this, which... I like to take my brush, the end of my brush, and I like to come back into the paint. And then I'm going to probably fill in. Let's see, what does it need? Let's see. 
What does it need? It needs some darks, I think. This is my brush. That one. Insides. Okay. I love this. I love this bright color here. Okay, so I'm varying my... I'm using the same brush, but I'm using it on its side so I get a bigger line. There. Okay. I just, I think that... Just add some. I need to wait, let this dry, and that's what I'm, I'm terrible at that. I cannot wait. So, really, this should dry. Um, I'm going to work on the, probably the inside of it. So, <clears throat> I'm going to let my flower dry and just do some contrast here with the background. I wish paint dried faster. I just don't want to run a hair dryer, y'all, and have you hear a hair dryer. That's what lives are. Lives are um, challenging. I'll, I'll say that with letting your paint dry. But I hope you're getting the idea of this. Hey, y'all. I see you. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Just doing this background in between the flowers. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry. Really, I don't like where that overlapped this this part um so i don't know if i want to define that or not yeah i kind of like that better um but the the visually just the line work here is a lot different so i um, should let that dry and then we'll go on i'll show you kind of a what you don't want to do in a landscape and then what you want to do. So this this all needs to dry because it just does. Come on. Work with me paint. Also you can take a see I can't really do anything till this dries. That's it. This is a water soluble neo color. Just showing you different lines that you can do. And it just, just to illustrate my point, you got some thick lines, some thin lines. It's not all the same, it's different. And that's what we want when we do works of art. You want it to be different. Not the same. If I was to flip back, here's this one. Dare I try to flip back and show you? Okay, that's that. Let it work in progress, I'll call it, because that is certainly not done. Okay, here's the other one. <laughs> it's probably a mess, but we'll see what it looks like. Ugh. There is same and more line variation. Okay. So we will let that go. Okay. Next, I am going to be in trouble with this. This journal is going to stick together, but that's okay. I kind of like the surprises. Okay. So on to... Say, again, say we're going to do a landscape. So I'm going to draw out, or I could do an abstract. Why don't I do an abstract? Because people are really into abstracts lately. Not that I can just whip out an abstract. That's not the case at all. But I want to show you just for the, the point of this video, I want to show you 
what you don't want to do in an abstract would be. There's a shape. Okay. There's a shape. Okay, so you probably predicted what I'm going to do. I'm just this composition again. Not that, I don't know, maybe people do paint abstracts like this. There is, there is a place for this. This is a repetitive pattern, and I think patterns are beautiful in repetition, but for this, for this video, I want to emphasize differences in lines. So, so this would be what you don't want to do in when you're starting an abstract. So how, in fact, I'm not going to start a new abstract. I'm going to actually make this one better because I think it's easier to illustrate my point if I just start working on this one. So what we see here again are the lines are forming a shape and they're all relatively the same size, right? That's what we don't want. We want, again, the, the theme of this video is differences in line make for a better painting, a, a more visually interesting painting. So, I can't wait for this to dry because I'm excited to show you what I have here. It's a little toy from my childhood that I can't wait to try out, but I have to let this dry. Whew, okay, so, so how would I make this better? So what would I do? I would, first I would change one of these. I would make it smaller or bigger. Depends on where I want the focus to be. <coughs> Excuse me, and I really haven't decided that. But I'm going to make a quick decision here. So I want the focus to be in this right, this upper right hand corner. So for right now, I'm going to make this already. See, this is already getting better, and I really. <laughs> I really haven't done much, but you can see visually your eye is more excited, dare I use that word, than it was before. Just doing that, just doing that is better than it was. <clears throat> so if I want my focus to be here, I don't really want you to look in the other places. Maybe I want you to glance there, but I don't want your full focus to be here. So I'm going to try to, well, this is just kind of dull this down some. And you don't always have to use white, but see that grays? See how that's graying the area? Okay, so that kind of and this is a strong color. That's a fluorescent. So that is really going to pull your attention. And I don't really use geometrical shapes. So this is not my normal <laughs> composition. I'm very freeform, very circular. So I don't normally do this. 